Hi everyone, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. It's my friend's birthday soon and I'm making her a card. And I thought I'd just hop on here and just show you guys what I'm making. Um, it's just really simple and I'm going to use one of the dies that I got from the In Love Art Shop. This is the one I'm going to use and I'll put the link for this in the description. But you don't have to use, you know, a die. It just gives you ideas. And um, But this is quite a pretty one so I thought that you'd quite like to see it. So what I've done is I've got, I've started by getting one of these craft blank pieces of card and they just come pre-fold pre-scored and you just fold them over and then all I've done is stuck on a piece of patterned card it was at this point I decided to film it for you guys so and all I did was use some of this double-sided sticky tape to stick that down and then I ran this through my Sizzix machine it's a big shot and this is what came out I put it through in a really cute blue colour but I thought that looked so pretty. And what I'm going to do, because I've done it that way around, I'm going to turn the card that way, portrait, and I'm going to stick this down. Now I'm going to use some wet glue for this because there's lots of intricate kind of patterns and cutouts and things, and I want those to be stuck. So I'm just gonna stick that down with some wet glue, and then we'll stick the next bit on. But this is so simple, you really could do it if you're a beginner. Oops, I'm just going to stick that on there. Hopefully I've got all the little bits and pieces. If not, I can just add a bit more glue. And then what we're going to do is I've cut out another piece of this coloured paper here with the flowers on. And I'm going to just stick that over the top. You can do it bigger or smaller. It really doesn't matter. You can kind of, you know, play along with it and sort of go with, with whatever you think. Well, I'm just going to snip these down because these little pads are a bit big. These are just the, the pads that, that raise up so you can make them things look a little bit more 3D. You can make them stand out a bit more. And what I'm going to do is just put one on each corner. You can buy the smaller ones. I've got some really small ones over there but I'll just use what I've got and it is really good to to use the things that you've got in your stash if you've got a few bits and you know try and use that up rather than but always sort of try and thinking you've got to buy new things so just peel those off and then that gives you like a raised effect on your card we're just going to stick that In the middle there like that and just push those bits down now I've got this is just a stamp and what I did I put it in some normal stays on ink I think I used the stone grey stamped that onto a piece of blue card this is exactly the same colour blue as this and then I just got the distress ink and went around the edge let me just find the colour that I used as I say this was all before I decided to show you guys so this is the one that I used. It's the Stormy Sky. And all I did was grab one of these little blending tools, dip it in and just go around the edge like that. And I'm going to put that with some raised pads on the top. So I'll just grab a couple of these. I'm not putting these up purely because I can't be bothered. And I might pop one in the middle as well. And then that will then stick over the top of that little flowery bit that we've just stuck down. Now you can add lace and beads and flat backs and all sorts of different things. You can mix media. And we will be doing you know more bits like that in the future but this is just a quick and easy one that I wanted to share with you guys so I'm just going to pop that over the front just make sure all those bits are tucked in like that and because we've used the pads can you see how they sit a little bit raised they don't sit flat I think that looks pretty sweet pretty cute but as I say you could put lace and and things around you could add things like 
some flowers if you've got any little bits and pieces like this they would look quite nice you know you could sort of layer a few up inside i put generally put a piece of card just so you can write on it so i'll just stick that in using a little bit of the double sided tape and that will be it but i think i'm going to stick those on because i think they look quite cute maybe not that one All right, so I've just decided to stick these on. And I'm just going to use these little sticky tabs to stick these on again. I just think that looks quite sweet in that top corner. And then we'll stick this in. So I just hate the price of cards. I think this can be so expensive in some shops. I mean, you can pay for just a basic, like, you know, rubbish card, about £4. And... I just don't think it's worth it. I would rather spend that £4 on supplies to make cards. And they're so much more personalised and so much nicer. Obviously, we don't always have the time. But I think if you can, obviously, it's relaxing. It gives you something to take your mind off everything that might be going on. And just that, it's that personal touch, isn't it? So I'm just going to stick this in the inside of the card it just makes it easier to write than writing on the brown part there and that literally is it done and with these packs of cards you actually get the envelopes as well so just pop that in there and then I'll use that to write on but that's my card nice and quick and easy you saw how quick it was but that's it so if you fancy checking out the dye that I used then that will be in the description and um, that's it for me so I'll see you all again soon you take care bye for now